My beef stew and herby dumplings is a really warming autumnal winter dish. It's great because it's going to be cooked in the slow cooker and I'm off to football to watch my son today. So let's get this ready before I go out. It's so simple and easy and then it will just cook in the slow cooker. So I've got my um, beef that I bought at Aldi. I've got some red wine because this is what makes it super delicious. Now, I need some onions and I need some celery and I didn't really want to go and buy celery, so I'm just going to use this. It does contain carrot, so it's just gonna have a bit of extra carrot in it, but to me, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to measure this all out now, and we're gonna start cooking. I've got 100 grams of this mix. If you don't have this or don't want to use this, just literally just chop up an, an onion. I think that will be absolutely fine. It's not gonna matter if you haven't got celery really for the flavor in this, um, but as I had it, that's what I'm using. And diced up here, I have got 300 grams of carrots because we do love our carrots. I've got 150 grams of swede and 150 grams of parsnip. I've put my Ninja onto sear saute mode. If you haven't got this, then please just do this in a frying pan. We just want to color this beef. So in that goes, and we're just gonna get some color on the outside. The beef is coming along nicely. In a couple of seconds, I'm gonna remove this and then we'll start with the veg. My veg has been softening in here, just giving it three or four minutes. It's obviously not gonna do a lot, it's gonna be slow cooked, but that's just getting the flavors going. So I've popped back in my beef, and I've put loads of black pepper onto my beef. So in that goes. In here, I've got 25 grams of plain gluten-free flour, some salt, and also some mixed herbs. So we need to add that in and give this a good mix. We want that flour to work as a thickening agent. So we make sure that that is coating all of my vegetables and my beef. Two bay leaves and next for some red wine. We want around 100 mils of red wine. Stir in that red wine. Let that just cook off for a minute. You can see it's really thick on the bottom here where it's catching slightly. That's fine because we're gonna add a fair amount of liquid into this. Two generous tablespoons of Worcester sauce. I'm using Tesco's Free From as it's gluten and wheat free. And finally, we just want to add our beef stock. I've got 500 milliliters here. Now this can just be left on slow cook and I'm gonna leave this on a low setting today for probably like six hours. Um, I'm going out, so when I come home, I'm gonna have a delicious dinner and all I've got to do is add my dumplings. To make my dumplings, I've got 125 grams of self-raising flour and that is gluten-free. I've got some dairy-free butter alternative here and this is a hard block because we're gonna be rubbing this into the flour. And we've also got two tablespoons of herbs. So let's pop the scales on and we need 70 grams of this going in here. Let's measure that out, 70 grams. I rubbed this together so it resembles slightly like breadcrumbs. And then we have got here, just some water, 75 mils, pop that in. And now we need to give that another mix until we can form our actual dumplings. My dumplings are in, just gotta leave them on slow in the slow cooker for around 30 to 40 minutes. I've just cut inside one of the dumplings and look how lovely and fluffy they are, even without suet. So this is a way you can make them if you're gluten-free. And look at this gorgeous stew with those dumplings. I'm getting ready now to serve this up. If you enjoyed this recipe, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon.